What's good, one? It's, it's your boy Peaceful Sunrise, and welcome to my first Tower of Fantasy video, man. I'm so excited. And during it, I'll cover things like you know banners, currencies, and uh, several other gotcha mechanics from the game. Uh, the goal is, by the end of this video, you feel like you've got a greater understanding on how and what you can do within Tower of Fantasy. Let's get it. So, guys, I'm making this guide because I want to help you know new players who are unfamiliar with the game get comfortable with it. Uh, as there are a lot of technicalities that could either propel or jeopardize your end game goals. So things like efficiently spending currencies, uh, resources, and collectibles are super vital to a goal oriented game state in TLF. So uh, on my screen here, you can see like this is the pity system. This is where uh, if you hear anybody talk about summons, this is what they're talking about. It's basically uh, you're pulling mimicry or the gold nuclei that you receive in game. Uh, and I will talk about this later within the video. We have crossed the galaxy and arrived at Ida to build a new era with our own hand. We claim to be the new God. If you didn't know it already, Tower Fantasy was developed by Perfect World and is a cross-platform MMORPG that features an immersive open-world atmosphere and generous gotcha system, right? So by the time you're watching this, 2FY have been out for at least two days. It'll be the 12th or 13th of August and twitch drops up on the 14th of august at 2 a.m central standard time so make sure you do get your five hours in more on that later the backstory is that the human race on the bridge of extinction traveled to a habitable alien world called ida and began harvesting omnium to create weapons these weapons have data of the original weapon master's consciousness which your character utilizes to enter combat The best thing that I love about this game is that it's free to play friendly, uh, has a PvP system that coincides with an already great summon system, Pity, features open world raid boss fights, has both group and solo dungeon raids, as well as comes with a daily level cap that refreshes in accordance with account playtime. Welcome to the new world. So guys, the basic goals in this game is, you know, complete missions, get your gacha, explore the open world, well, give you more gacha pools, give you more resources, uh, give you upgrades to uh, dungeon raids, uh, as well as make sure you're doing your main quest for uh, the level cap. So if you're on your first day, uh, you do get, what, a cap of 18, I'm pretty sure. And then second day, it's 24. And then the third day, it should be uh, 27. So. This is in accordance with your play time, as mentioned earlier. So that first day you won't be able to get 24. That second day you won't be able to get 27. Thirdly, uh, that third day you will. So as you you know look at these missions, things of that sort, uh, you do have your open world exploration. You get to those chests, right? Uh, by getting more of these resources, you're able to increase combat score through upgrades. And you do get an assortment of items like ores, things of that sort. You do get some suppressor upgrades as well. So all pretty good. Super generous, guys. Like, can't go wrong with it. Uh, there are password chests scattered throughout uh, the map on TOF. And these basically require a password chip. And most of the time, you do want to do a perfect decipher versus a forced decipher. So basically, the discrepancy is that a perfect decipher means that you use a chip to open up the password chest, but a forced decipher means you're hacking the chip. So there's a chance that you can actually trigger a long hour cooldown. Not sure, it might be 24 hours. Um, but if you do a forced decipher, you're just able to get it up willy nilly and you get an EXP increase by having it uh, perfectly deciphered. So uh, you do get those scattered around uh, missions um, as well as for defeating enemies. So no worries about that. Bipods. So you get nuclei with these, and the nuclei that you find um, within these supply pods, they'll be in black or gold, will be able to use or be used for gacha banners. And it does give you a lot of XP, right? Um, but password chests do give you more. And then item chests is a more general, more common type of chest that is found scattered. Uh, they do grant less XP, but not too picky. Uh, and so the last is basically Guys, I have a whole thing about this. 
Come on. You can get better than that. You just farm whatever you need. Uh, you know, there, there's also a way to get a certain amount, whatever amount you need. Reward more often. So guys, a couple tips, right? Uh, we don't want to be leveling up too many weapons when you do get all your, you know, rewards. Uh, you know, if you, you know, go and hop again, you can see that there's some items that you'll get. You know, acid proof blaze one, uh, fire four, uh, nano fiber frame, and so all these things are just used for for weapons. If I go to my warehouse here, open up, check for this upgrade here, look for an enhance. So it'll basically using up these kits and these kits are uh basically set out for all the similar style weapons that you have set uh, if you do get a duplicate or you pull the same item same common rare item um, it will go into that certain core that certain core item so it'll be used as that enhanced so basically you wouldn't have to use an external thing like an external item or an external collectible to upgrade that you just need gold you, you get gold from everywhere so next part is basically that guys if we are going to be leveling up you know our weapons we got to keep it to like three three or four five max right because you don't want to be wasting uh, the currency that you have let's say if you get one of those uh, early uh, sr items or like a you know a rare and you're just using it uh, that's fine uh, you can uh, do one or two upgrades for the quest but you want to save the majority of those for your uh ssr uh, item which is super vital right because you want to be able to use all those weapons so guys some of the things that you might want to get into is um immediately joining a crew so you get those rewards uh, not using certain gifts uh, for similar cloud that doesn't benefit from it so if you go here we go to awaken every single similar cloud has something called tree which basically gives them stats and equipment for this type of character and what you can do to increase your awakening level is gift points right and these uh, and give gifts right and these get converted to points so essentially gifts are points so you can get the key like something like games items uh, this is something called like a trait a gift trait and then let's say we wanted to build a little shop right oh i, I wanna i wanna get a gift I, w I want to you know buy something for my my very favorite all these you know they have it as well we go to our uh, these are all the, all the rewards on the reward side here boom some of the some of the matrices we were showing the survey games event and as you can see some of these rewards will actually give you gifts within them so we can do just complete these all the rewards that you get uh, they have a regular pass and a battle pass as well you get some dark crystals for following as well and you can get some redemption for exchanges now, I want to take you guys to actually flip some of these codes in here. So, if you are already logged on, already uh, made your account as well, the code TOF for the six will get you uh, a gold new PI, 8,000 gold, uh, and one SR relic shard pack, right? So, it gives you an SR relic of your choice. It can be like cannon arms, I think. Something with jetpack, a lot of other stuff. Cool. And then instead of 2F666, it'd be 2F888. This will give you 8,000 gold, one black nucleus, and 10 crispy gold fish, which is satiated. So satiated, satiated, satiated. So basically, when you eat food in this game, it gives you HP, it gives you a satiation. So basically, it cures your hunger. Hunger is a system within the game. It feels pretty interesting if you don't eat your star, right? And then the last code is I love to up something like this, and you confirm. So you are limited to, to these three. If you go over, you'll exceed the redemption limit, right? And you can find that in the gift box at the top. And if you click rewards, you can 
And so you don't really get this until you get to the main mission, which is like this logical intruder. Logical intruder. I'll probably tell you later in the video. Um, yeah, the ecological station uh, intruder quest is basically where you unlock summons and you get all the good stuff. So that's one. So guys, if you do want to get to those gifts instead of just buying them on ice, which does require uh, a pretty penny, you can just press escape, hit up the commissary, and you'll find that um, in these places you can find upgrades, right? And this, this currency is redeemed for spending vitality, and you spend vitality when you do certain missions, you know, joint operations, which basically is like a dungeon type system where you spend your health basically your energy to complete a mission or a daily things of that sort uh, dimensional trials it's really the sort of like a four people training mission you guys go hard it's, it's essentially just killing mobs right in a cellar uh, exploration there are parts on the map where you can go to a dimensional rift and kill mobs there and it's every day so that's always nice and you have uh, ruins and world exploration Ruins is basically you go to these puzzle type maps, you kill mobs, as well as you loot chests. And there's two to one ruin, and there's all types of ruins, man. Some of them are a little tricky, some of them not. And you have world exploration, where essentially uh, just you get stuff all over the world, right? You, you get rewarded for it, so that's always nice. And if you want to look at the ruins, what ruins look like, you know, you get XP, gives you gold, uh, gives you uh, shards for your relic. Uh, as well as these uh, Omnium Crystals, which are good for your Suppressor upgrades. Uh, and we'll talk about the Suppressors in a bit. So as you can see, we're here at the Suppressor page. You start at this V1, uh, first edition, version 1, uh, and essentially you get level 12. And by the time you get level 12, you're probably going to have way more than two potent Omnium Crystals. And you basically take that all the way to... Uh, 20 full v1.5 upgrade which unlocks at level 20 and take two potent omnium crystals so two four six eight ten so for your first pressure you'll be using 10 potent omnium crystals and again you do get those from ruins from the story exploring wonders log if you don't know what it is that's what it looks like and go back you never find the wonders log this is what your adventure logs look like what your wanderer log looks like uh, essentially gives you three rewards for doing things in the game use chest tips upgrade your suppressor to v1.3 level up to 18 level up to 24 level up to 27 and then level 28 start chapter 4 as well um, if you do want to get those gifts you guys remember go to the commissary uh, you can get certain gifts for your similar class and you know, similar cause the first map. If you like maybe a Chiro, an Awakener, give her some, some good stuff. As you can see, there's 45 here. She likes metal items. She likes anything that's saved, rare items, right? And then if you were to go back to the commissary, what is what is such and such like? What is such and such like? You look at the traits, give it to them, right? Go to the weapon store. So, tricky part here, you guys. If you're ever in the commissary, don't just go, oh my god. I put my my dirty SSR. I put my AT SSR. I have two SSRs. I should just buy. Or people like to just oh, I've just pulled a bunch of um, you know SRs or whatever. I'm just gonna buy a random item. Please don't do this. You'll waste it. Essentially, once you get the SSR that you like, the the trio that you like, uh, dedicate the pulls that you get from the gacha, from your summons, from the golden nuclei. Um, and set it to the items that you get. So let's say if I get King, if I see King's item up here, I get it. Right? If I see Shiro, I see your Chakram, I get it. Right? And what this will do is, is basically get a copy of that item, and you can use it in your enhance versus using the rope and uh, mats. So the Matrix Store, essentially what this is, is like it gives you the full types of the weapon or similar card that you like. Right, or the similar card that you want. All right, so I have Shiro, I have Coco Ritter, uh, and I have a Zero. So that's a Benediction comp. Talk about resonance in a little bit. 
uh, basically I would get shield box, right? I would get zeros box, right? I would get knuckles or uh, knuckles box, and I just boom the one, no biggie. And we only do this when we fully committed to upgrading it, and as well as when we fully um committed to that team or fully committed to that similar car, and it's super important. So here's a crew store. You get crew points from doing things in your crew, donating to your crew. Um, for every donation you give, maybe it's requesting some eggs. Just toss that over there. Boom, you get turned three. So let's say one donation, one donation is a hundred. Uh, it would take five donations for you to get one potent omnium crystal, which is one half of a suppressor upgrade. Uh, pretty nice, if you ask me. So over here, uh, this this is a support point cur uh, currency. So it basically just support system. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. You can get all, all types of things. Uh, apparently, uh, by helping other wanderers within the game. Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, point store. So these are the points uh, that you receive from training. All right. So if we go to boom, boom. If you look over here, you'll see that. All the things that you do give you rewards and what training does for you is that it kind of gets you stronger bro it gives you things uh that you kind of need right so as you go through all these rewards the training rewards is a fun mode right? it's like a mini game training mode where you get that currency and you're able to spend it at, at the commissary and you only unlock it at certain levels and you can only do it at certain locations so when you let's say you go go right i'm gonna go do this it'll give you the location and you click go on your map and it'll show you show you literally where you can go to do that specific training type so once you do those you go back to the commissary you're like oh my god yeah i got the things that i want uh things that, or i got the points that i want to get the things that i want you would get this, or you would get this, or you would get this, or you would get this, and there's certain types of everything. So I thought that was nice. So guys, the last few things I want to discuss with you is uh, your star path, which is really good for getting your SSR, um, as well as completing the star path and um, the cloth pod. So let's say you get in here, you're like boom. Oh my God, how do I get my SSR? I don't know at all. Here's where we go. We go to this newcomer event right here and you can see all the missions that you have just sitting here. So uh, let, let's say you, you can do some nano coding, right? <coughs> Spend it. Uh, this is basically a type of upgrade. Uh, get your login days up uh, as well as do perfect deciphers for any password test 40 times. You get points right and essentially you get your ssr at 700 points at the top of your page right and you can get what you want however big disclaimer do not i mean do not waste your ssr welcome box it's gonna it's gonna feel oh if you like oh my god i want to roll meta or oh my god i'm just gonna roll a random weapon box i don't know what's good like do, do your research on what you like, what the characters you like. Um, in fact, I'll just put a character segment in here. So guys, I'm here at the Simulo Craft. I uh, just want to give a slight overview of the champions I'll get. I do call them champions, really clear. So you have Zero here. He's a tank. Uh, fire, Awaken. So, nice. Zero, DPS, physical, Poker Ritter, Ice. She's a healer, essentially. What? NA, she's a SR. All three of these up here are SSRs. All three of these right here are SRs. So Echo DPS is Vault Elemental. She also does Vault Elemental. Sort of a uh, healer type. Zelda, Gallon Gun. Uh, Ice Elemental. Also DPS by Ling. Hello, Thunderbolt Vault. And then Meryl. Ice tank, Ymir, uh, Volt DPS, Uma, Fire tank, Ubasa, 
ice DPS, king, uh, fire DPS. You could also supply that, I think. A crow, bolt DPS, and nemesis. She is. I like Volt, no? Hmm. Volt healer, crazy. So, when you do, like, let's say you go into your backpack and you pick up your weapons here. If you just want to upgrade something, probably get an acid proof or a nano proof, nano fiber. Well, upgrade there if you like. And let's say you have a triple DPS, you could probably get a match type. Uh, it would be balanced. If you have uh, the three types, a tank, DPS, and healer, you have double tank, fortitude, uh, double attack, or triple attack, it'll be attack. And if you have at least two healers, it'll be benediction. Right, so these are the four types. So guys, matrices basically are sub enhancements to your weapon. They give you, after you use three of the same pieces, they'll add traits, and these will act as buffs depending on what you want for each um, weapon, right? So if I'm zero, I would want like flame enhancements. Um, if I'm Coco, I want frost enhancements or whatever you prefer, really. Um, so. Good. So real quick, before we get into the characters, here's the Clotho Supply Pod as an extra rewards and the newcomer event. Remember, this is the 700 that you get for your free SSR. Don't waste it. Uh, as you keep logging in, uh, it will count these logins, and by the end of what, 12 days, 13 days, uh, you'll basically get a free 10 pool, which gives you a good 30 um, just for playing the game. So just wanted to put that in there. So guys, remember that um, for pre-registration uh, is a sort of little uh, celebration. In the round one before the 17th of August, if you complete the Ecological Station Intruders, you'll unlock the rewards page uh, and log in. You'll receive a free vehicle, basically it acts as a mount. And you get a full 10 pool. So remember that's what already 40 free gold pools and you get uh, a guaranteed SSR at 30 and 80. So that's two free SSRs, right? And you get the free SSR selector box. And that's all 700 on your star path, navigation star path. And you get 10 red nuclei, which is for a limited banner pool 10 times. And Nemesis is the banner pool. So to go over, as you can see, there were some login issues just people trying to get into the game, people who were unable to get into the game, you get 600, oh my god, my god, 600 Dark Crystals, if you've already created um, your account and registered, um, however, uh, anyone who registers before the 17th of August gets another free 10 pool of gold nuclear, that's 50 free pool, come on man, and you're working way past this um, 80 pity point, by exploring like it's amazing so guys those switch drops i was um mentioning earlier let's do them right like let's do them they end what in two days they end on the 14th i'm pretty sure or uh the 13th at 2 a.m so guys if you have 0.5 hours of accumulated viewing basically half an hour 30 minutes you get a black nucleus and a vanguard trailblazer um what it is, I'll probably look at it later. Uh, you get the pack two is a hour of viewing, fifty dark crystals. You get pack three, two hours. Uh, you get pack four, three hours. You get pack five, it's four hours. And you'll receive three gold, uh, gold nucleus, SR relics, uh, about twenty five, and an another one fifty dark crystals. So, I mean, oh, you miss guys. Oh, you miss you guys. Um, here we have relics that are available to you. You get all types of shards. You get something like a hand cannon, makes a, a, a big portable piece of walkable land in the form of a cylinder, cybernetic arm pulled into you, cool on you, your shield. All types of special things that will help you in and out of the map and gameplay, combat, all types of utility. So you get out of there. The very last part, you have your vehicles. Boom, have your terminal, it chronicles basically um, parts of the map that 
you have have done or have not done so essentially as you lock more chapters you unlock more parts of the travel log you know you have your missions uh, side missions where you can track you can look see what you have see what you don't have your bounty w what you've accepted so uh, i've completed all my bounties so you probably won't see anything here you know you have your message basically if you get anything uh, password test you can track it and your crew you have guide missions team like our missions i'll show you um yeah story you get all types of claims from here when you click through you complete these boom 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 and you start seeing that these are filling up so it's always nice to pick these up to make sure you're getting everything that you deserve so i mean guys i think that's pretty much it thank you for coming through Enjoy.